It's a small town here in Apple Valley, Washington. People here live for one thing, apples. We eat, live, and breathe apples. You may be wondering, how can people seriously have fun in a town like Apple Valley? The truth is, there is only one interest among our competitively driven youth, and that's apple bobbing. It all started in the 1800s. Since then, our forefathers have embraced the apple as the pride of the American culture. Some may call it a respectable gift for a teacher, others a forbidden fruit. But in the sport of apple bobbing, you view an apple for all of its beauty. At first, I couldn't stand them. I got so sick of seeing them everywhere. In the trees, on the ground, in the market, in my house. But soon this all changed. Kids started playing bobbing for apples at parties, and it developed into much more than a pastime. Today, we hold the National Apple Bobbing Competition here in Apple Valley Grove. People tend to underestimate the extremity of apple bobbing. It gets tough. Competition arose in various parts of the country. We had to intensify the game a bit each year, adding new innovations to our equipment such as trying to bob in other liquids like jello or soda, but this all became too dangerous. We decided to stick to apple bobbing's natural state, with nothing but purified water and the freshly picked apples floating in it. I have become a master of my art and will stop at nothing until I achieve my national bobbing victory. Granny Smith, John Gold, Fuji, um, um, Golden Deluxe. It's hard to think that all my training and experience are going to be judged at tomorrow's competition. At least I helped shed some light on the sport of apple bobbing. That's greater than any trophy, I guess. The only thing to do now is to get some rest and see what happens tomorrow. Gentlemen, the final round in today's competition. Who will be this year's national bobbing champion? Bobbing in the red tub is challenger Ashley Thompson from the Golden Groves of sunny Florida. Bobbing in the blue tub, we have Zachary Williams, three times national champion, born and raised here in Apple Valley Groves. Rivalry between these two contestants dates back to the beginning of apple bobbing. Let's watch as these former best friends battle to this year's national bobbing champion. People of Apple Valley, I give you the 2007 bobbing champion for the fourth consecutive year, Apple Valley's very own homegrown Zachary Williams. National bobbing, national bobbing, national bobbing. Victory.